So, it's that time again where I start to talk about some of the big changes coming to Battlefield 1 very soon. Now, the May update is fast approaching and DICE is currently updating the CTE every few days with tweaks and changes to current settings in order to balance out some gameplay functions. And one of those that's in there right now is how the stationary weapons work. DICE is trying to give them a greater presence in the game and offer players who use them a little bit more of a challenge. First off, the two stationary weapons that are affected by this change are the stationary AA cannon and the field gun. Now, both of these are likely weapons that you're going to come across during a round of conquest. But at the moment, they're kind of throwaway items. They're used for a couple of shots before a player moves on, or they're targeted by the enemy and incoming infantry, and then they're destroyed. This is what DICE is looking to change. Since the update to the CTE, the health of the field guns and the stationary AA cannons has been doubled, and both of them are now indestructible. When they take damage now, once they drop below 50% health, the weapon will enter a disabled state, similar to how vehicles work in the game. In this state, the weapon cannot be fired, and it must be fully repaired back to 100 health before you can use it again. The only way you can repair it is with the repair tool. So this change does a few significant things then. It removes the annoyance of stationary weapons being broken completely and being left unable to be utilised by either of the teams. It actively encourages team play, with teammates maybe wanting to offer covering fire alongside you as you use the stationary weapon and offering repairs if they have the repair tool equipped. And lastly, it'll actually get support players to run with the repair tool. Due to Battlefield 1 having the self-repair feature built into tanks and planes, the need for a standard infantry player to carry the repair tool in their loadout was almost reduced to zero. It was like a token gadget for the support class that nobody ever really picked. The person driving the tank or piloting the plane already had the tools needed to ensure their continued survival. They could self-repair, or because they were a tanker or a pilot, they had access to the repair tool. With this change, however, stationary weapons need to be fully repaired before they can be used again. If no one repairs it, it cannot be used. However, one thing I want to clarify, the team looking to disable the stationary weapon won't need to do any more damage than they did before this change, because the 50% damage threshold is now the same as the destroy threshold that was before the patch. The stationary AA cannon and the field gun won't become disabled until they take the same amount of damage that would currently destroy them. So for the people attacking them, it's no harder to stop them firing back at you. On a map like Argon Forest during a round of conquest, if the armoured train is active, then you'll know how important those field guns can be. And when they've been destroyed, the team trying to get rid of the train suddenly finds it significantly harder to get that accomplished. Now, a support player can influence that battle again by repairing broken field guns and get their team back, damaging and destroying that train. If there was one class in Battlefield 1 that needed a big buff, it was the support class, and DICE have given it a minor buff in my opinion. It still feels like their role in repairs is somewhat balked due to the inclusion of self-repair built into tanks and planes. But this is a good start from the developers. Repairing vehicles from outside a vehicle with the repair tool is actually faster than a tanker or a pilot self-repairing from the driver's seat. But perhaps DICE need to do more to tell players the difference between the two repair options. Or perhaps I'll just make a video and tell you all. <laughs> Overall, I think this is a good change to the support class because it's going to increase the team play aspect in Battlefield 1. It's going to get that repair tool back into use again. Previous games had a dedicated engineer class that was specifically designed to damage and repair vehicles. That playstyle has kind of been lost and blended into the other classes that you can play as in Battlefield 1. But it's nice to see the developers doing some work to try and bring that playstyle back in. And of course, that's just one of the bigger changes at the moment that looks like it will make it into the May patch 
for Battlefield 1. Nothing confirmed at this point, but it's in the CTE and it is working, so I can see it making its way into the patch by the end of the month. And don't forget, we're on to monthly updates now, so more fixes, more features and new content faster than ever before in Battlefield 1. Let me know what you think of this down below in the comments section, and I'll be back tomorrow with more changes. My name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.